Hello everyone and welcome back. Today you join me with my 2007 Volvo S80 V8 and I've spent a couple of months of it now so I found some pretty interesting features I thought I'd share with you guys. Some I found myself just spending time in the car and uh, I did nerd out on the manual and I found some also pretty interesting things and a couple of my friends also noted there's some also very interesting stuff to relay back to you guys as well. So I am going to do just a short video and some of the things that I thought that would be interesting to share with you guys. So let's get into it. So this first feature I actually found accidentally. I got into the car and then I dropped my keys in the floor. I was like, oh no. And then I realized I went, when I was scrambling down to get it, I found this little pocket here. And it's a, I was like, whoa, why is there a kangaroo pouch attached to the seat? And I realized it was like an actual like cubby hole there. And there's also one on the other side for the passion to see. So that's a very fun addition for wherever you want to store in your kangaroo pouch. Moving on, if you go behind the steering wheel, you'll find this joystick with a couple of buttons saying enter and back. And I had no idea what they were for. I was trying to find out for ages what they actually did. But if you press the start button, then this screen will arise from the center of the dash, which is the Volvo's like navigation system. And basically what this joystick and stuff does, if you just press the enter button to get rid of that screen, that is essentially to control, the, the joystick is to control that screen. And I had absolutely no idea. If you press back on the button, you get sub menus, you can scroll down doing many things. And you also have actually a TV remote you can also use for that, but I don't think that's legal anymore. So we have to use the joystick instead. Next up, we have this really handy feature my mate told me because they work in a garage. And basically if you remove these pins, like so, then, that basically disassembles the light cluster and you can literally bring out the light cluster by its, just that, just removing by two of the pins, the light cluster comes out and garage people love working on Volvos for this exact reason because the light cluster just simply slides out after those two pins. This next feature I'm about to show you is probably the best one probably fitted to any car in existence. So imagine you have gone to Ikea to buy a grandfather clock and you are going to put it into your saloon. Everyone's watching you laughing hysterically, but little do they know, this car comes fitted with a feature where you can pull these two tabs underneath the passenger seat, push it forward, and whoa, <laughs> look at that. It literally folds nearly flat. So you can have anything long in the boot area and come and you put these seats down here, then you can push anything through the car and it goes all the way to the dash. Look at that. That's like four meters worth of just Volvo space you can use. Who needs an estate? You can use this S80. This is a fantastic feature. And I believe this is also on the other platforms such as the V70. This next feature is really handy, especially for someone like me who has a really narrow garage. So if you hold down the L and R buttons, which are both for left and right wing mirrors, both mirrors will close. Next up, we have this really handy feature I wouldn't have known otherwise if I didn't read a manual. So to get your wipers up in the service mode, you have to push this up and it brings this the wipers into a fixed position. And I think the, the reason behind that, it, you have to use the service mode, is because otherwise it will snag on the bonnet and this is how you remove your wipers or have to change them necessarily. So that's what they're like there. So yeah, all you have to do is just pull the lever up and then it'll hold the wipers like that. And then I believe to start it, it goes back to normal again. Another useful feature is when you're in the dark, you can't see. So this is where the Volvo comes into its own. So if you turn on the full beam, like so, take out the key, get out of the car. Imagine you, you don't eat many carrots, so you can't see in the dark, and this is the predicament you face. But if you look down here, you'll see the full beam is on, and you can change the settings and how long you want that duration to be in the Volvo interface. Also, if you just want to turn it off there and then because you've had enough light, you can go in the key and press the button here, and it will turn it off. 
and this button also initiates some side lights. You can turn it off as if you wish and you can turn them back on and the same after the rear as well. Obviously it's more prominent in night time which I'll overlay some videos for you there but if we just turn it off. Another interesting video is also this. Imagine you just got out of the shop and you got 12 pints of milk in your hands and then you drop them all on the floor trying to get your keys. Milk on the floor, disaster. However, with this key to century, if I just open the door, see it unlocks. Close it again and press the lock button. It locks the car. How handy is that? And it gets better because you can do it on every single door handle, all four of them. So it doesn't matter where you are in the car, you can press it anywhere. Now this next feature is actually thanks to a comment I got in my recent first drive video I had with my S80 V8. I was complaining about the steering and it was quite light, but if you go into the menu here and then scroll down to car settings, enter, scroll down to steering force level, you can actually change how light or how heavy you want the steering force um, level to be. Low is just unbelievably light. Medium is a bit better, but it's still really light. Then high just feels very artificial and too heavy. I'm not really a fan of any of the settings, I'm honest, so I'll just keep it in medium. But yes, if you do want to have a bit more weight, you can have it higher, or if you want it less weight so for, more, for more town driving, you can have it in the low setting too. Next feature I want to show you is the keyblade itself. So you have to take it off by sliding this tab across, which is quite a faff to do with one hand. But once you do that, it comes out like so. So we don't need that anymore. And what I'll show you this is that you can use it for a couple of things in the car, such as locking and unlocking the glove box. But more importantly, if your car decides to break down, which you should never because it's a Volvo, then you need to go down here. And obviously you need to probably tow it as well. So take out this little tray, which is very hidden under this waterfall sliding center console. And you can see there's a little tab here. And if you put the key down that hole there, you can essentially put the car into like it out of park so if your car needs to be towed or moved or whatever you can put the key in the slot and then you can tow it or do whatever you wish to do with it it's a very handy feature and i would have known without that manual another feature you can actually use for the keyblade is for the boot you can actually open the boot with the keyblade itself if you if i know if it doesn't unlock with the regular key that's run out of battery um, unfortunately I haven't found a way how to do this without setting the alarm off so apologies in advance but if you come up here you can see this little round tab here is a little key emblem basically you need to twist that and then that comes off in a jiffy okay I eventually got it out after a lot of faff but if you pull it out of the way you can see that's where the key release goes twist this And then we're in, the, the boot is now open. I think it's gonna set the alarm off, but we'll try it anyway. Oh, there we go. And now the car is actually unlocked everywhere because the mirror just opened. So that's a very handy feature. So yeah, right there, very hidden. Whilst we're actually in the boot area, I thought I'd show you this one. So if we pull out this bit of carpet on the right side of the boot, you can see there's this green little uh, like pulley thing and if you pull it that actually opens the fuel filler cap manually so normally you would do it down here and the button is next to the lights so if that doesn't work for whatever reason you can simply go into the boot which you have manually done with the key and you can manually open with this little tab here. This is all very worst case scenario for a Volvo, which I'm sure would never happen anyway. But it's nice to know that feature's there if need be. Okay, this is a bonus feature I was not expecting to film. Um, I just found this by accident whilst we're trying to do the fuel cooler again. So I lifted this up 
I didn't realize there's a separate little boot floor which separates and it's on hinges. And there's like a little bungee cord here. And there's also two hooks, I suppose, for, I don't know, additional shopping on a hook from your recent Ikea visit. That's a buzz. That's a massive buzz for me. What do these do? I don't know. Oh, that holds it down. This holds it down to the boot floor. Oh, that, is, that has actually excited me so much. Well, there you go, guys. There's another feature I didn't know this car had. To finish off, I want to show you this little quirky feature here. So if we look at this button, we can see it's got a headrest and an arrow pointing down. So if we face a camera up here and focus and press the button, <laughs> hey, both the headrests fall and you are then, you, uh, I suppose it's better for visibility or if you are chauffeuring someone and you want to wake them up, that is also a good way of knocking them in the head. Now get them awake and alert for their business meeting. So there we have it everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned something about Volvos. If there's any features I missed out, then please let me know in the comments down below. These were the standout features that I thought that were worth sharing with you guys. So thank you very much for watching and bye for now.